so am I. Why don't you go on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we are putting that in that. If you've been following the series, you know that the plans have changed. We started off with a distributor that was fully automatic, and we ended up with a distributor that could not be fully automatic. So we built a distributor that is fully automatic. When we talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. We have also resolved the issue with the first one, where that gear came loose from the shaft because it was not uh, properly lubricated. So this one, as you can see, is inside the oil ja jacket, I guess. I don't know. Inside the oil, uh, it's inside the engine. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Our first step, and I honestly, I don't know why they did this. Ford did something that was, in my opinion, a little stupid. If you remember back when we put this together, we put the timing gear on, we noted that the keyway was not in line with the mark for the timing. And if I can find a picture, I'll, I'll throw it in here, but the hole in the shaft when you're at top dead center is like this. It's just unfortunate that it was done this way because if it wasn't, if that pin was straight up and down, I could just drive it out, take the cover off, put the new cover on, and we're still at top dead center and I don't have to mess with it, but no, we gotta mess with it. So there's two ways we can do it. We can do it with the crank, or we can do it by jacking up the rear wheel and turning the motor. So I think we're going to do that next. get the Allen key on there and then we need to tap that up. Okay, so we tighten this up when we put it on. But now we're going to take it off. And then this is that roll pin that we got to get to go out. And it is not easy. My fancy paint from, I don't remember where I got it from. It's um, cast blast, but it's the aluminum one. So what makes that? It's uh, not so good on oily plumbing, apparently. We gotta get our little, little uh, adapter out here. So, next step is going to be to rotate this up, I believe. Hopefully that seal will stay on the shaft and release from here because we glued that in as its own gasket. We're still glued all in here. So I'm trying to get it to come off without hurting the gasket or the seal. There we go. Let's see what we didn't ruin that one, I hope. Okay, we got the cover off. Now we got to get the gasket off. Get this all cleaned up. I lost my small one. Don't, don't, don't give me crap. Now to run this new distributor, we need new nuts. So this one's got to come off. You don't have one of these. You don't have one of these wrenches. You can use a uh, an open end or whatever. You can get in there. So here's our new nut. Well, this is a 30. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. That says. Uh, where is it? This is 30 in communist numbers. And my. 
Oh, somebody beat the snot out of that. And my wrench won't go in. Okay, that's all it takes. Just snug it up. Next up, this gear. Like that. All right, this one is three quarters. Let's give that a little spin on there. Let's do a dry run to make sure we can do it. Seems the modern seal is causing a problem because I can slide it straight on like that. And I can't get when I put the seal on it, it's in the way. That's an interesting setback. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. The gear is hitting this raised portion. I'm gonna have to take that out a little bit right there. I think if I grind that down just a little bit. That'd be enough to get back because you can see where it's been whacking on it with me trying to put it on. So this is why we do dry runs. Okay, I was going to wait to show you this, but I got a new tool and it does this. So I'm going to use this to try to cut this down because I uh, I'm out of options. I, I can't think of anything else. I can't find any of my Dremel tools. None. Nothing. No Dremel. Tool, no Dremel bits, no nothing. It's all gone. I have no idea where it went. So we're gonna try this one. Many hours later. You can see better than I can. How am I doing? This thing came with some round bits too, so let's try it out. Okay, we're at the point where we can put this back on now. So instead of a gasket, I'm just going to use this gasket maker. I'm really impressed with this. This, uh, it's probably, it feels like it's about to here now in terms of being full. So there's that much left. And the tip isn't clogged. I just tried it to make sure it would work before I turn the camera on and no problem at all. Goes on there. That goes on finally. That one on there. That one in there. Okay, next we're going to drop our distributor in, which hopefully goes smoothly. Uh-oh. Good grief. All right. I'm starting to worry. Okay, so number one. Number one is going to be this one. On the ballpark. As we can see here, there's an arrow on this one. And it turns that way. So this is going to be one. This is going to be two. And then we're going to have four. This one. And then 
three will be this one. Now we're going to put this plug on the head like we did the first time. Let's put this here so nothing falls down the hole. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did with the other video. Basically I'm going to turn the engine. Okay, now we're coming up on compression. Okay, so we've looked down the hole. we got the flashlight here. Finger on the hole. Compression started to go. We've come up. We've hovered. The piston's come up. It's hovered. It started to go back down. It went down um, maybe 20, 25 thousandths. Now the distributor turns this way. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I am. Turns this way. So in order to advance it, we're going to turn it this way. In order to retard it, we're going to turn it this way. So that that thing gets to it late. Right now it's pointed in here somewhere. So <clears throat> you retard it. I'm going to turn the key on. We're going to watch the spark plug. Okay, so we got our spark. Pretty sure I lost the footage because the camera sh shut off. I don't know why. Same procedure. If you don't understand it, go back and watch the installation of the Texas tea parts. I did have to regap the plug. I must have got bumped. Okay, next we got to put this bolt in here. And our little lock washer. Now this is going to go in until it just touches the camshaft, and I'm going to back it off a little bit because it really isn't needed. This was when they had the square cut gears, I would assume, and you needed to be able to keep the camshaft from locking. As you can see on the inside in the other video, you can see where the timing gear actually came forward and hit. Just to fill the hole up, assuming that's about three quarters. And I'm tired and I'm going to cheat. Alright, what else is on the list? We've got to put the pulley back on, but I want to run it first, just in case I need to take this off again. We're going to let the RTV harden up. I'm going to have to put oil in it, so we'll put this up here so I don't forget. I think we're ready to fire. Gas line's going to go on. I've got to turn the fuel back on, obviously. If I put the throttle rod back in, we'll have some control there. Okay, it's looking like next video we're going to start this thing up. I know I said that before, but that was with a dis different distributor. So we'll see. Anyway, that is how to put a Bosch front plate distributor assembly with a 009 head in a Model T. And I will see you in the next one.